Hello and welcome to Salt Nation TV. In this episode, I'm... <sighs> yeah, it was meant to be an episode where my, my Honda Accord Type S, my CL9, had my IBAC Pro Kit lowering springs installed and the hard race drop links I got to replace, the standard drop links that are knackered and you need to saw off essentially. But as with every modification that I tried to do with the Mini, well, not everyone, but a lot of them, uh, this proved troublesome. So we did some of this. My friend Ed and I are gonna try and get the eye back lowering springs on the Honda Accord Type S. So this should be good fun. So it started relatively normally, jack the car up. And then we did some of this. And then some of this. The shock is out. We've got it out. We can put the lowering spring on it. Woo! -hoo! And that means everything that essentially we, we neglected and then realized, well, Ed realized that's the right way to do it, will be quicker on the second side. That was about an hour, that was about an hour and 10. Yeah. So I stopped the video right there because stuff started to go wrong and not in a funny way in a uh, sort of face palm smash yourself in the face sort of way now ed who was helping me sort out the installation who was essentially doing it for me as uh, he knows what he's doing and i don't um ed came across the problems with the drop links obviously we ended up having to saw them off which was expected what wasn't expected was I'm stood there and I'm watching Ed doing what he's doing and I'm like, yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning as it's going. So, you know, sort of coil spring depressor things and I started doing them myself and that was, because I've never done that before. I've done quite a few things on cars, but I've never actually touched the suspension before. So I'm watching Ed and Ed's doing it all and he's all doing it exactly as it should be done. And then I went, I'm feeling confident. I know what I'll do. I'll go around the other side of the car and start on that side whilst Ed finishes off this side. So in theory, the idea was sound. I mean, you know, it's, it's a case of undoing some stubborn, rusty bolts. <sighs> That's what it should have been, a case of essentially unscrewing some rusty, stubborn bolts. But it wasn't. Nope, I managed to... Um, shear off the bolt that goes through essentially the, the horseshoe shaped component that holds the shock absorber in place. I managed to not only snap that bolt in half, but I also managed to snap my breaker bar. So I've said before in a video, I am a little bit, a little bit too heavy handed. And what I did there was go, oh, it must be the opposite way to what we did on the other side of the car, forgetting the whole righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. And I just essentially torqued the uh, the bolt that was already rusted into non-existence. I, I torqued it to death. And this is torque as in T-O-R-Q-U-E, not torque as what I generally do in a video and you probably get bored of and switch off after about three minutes. No. I properly overtalked it with my own hands and a breaker bar whilst breaking the breaker bar. And here is the bolt. As you can see, lovely. Yay. Snapped it, snapped it right off. 
Oh yeah, I'll, sh I'll put a picture of the breaker bar up right about now as well. So breaker bar and bolt destroyed, which means that we couldn't finish off the passenger front. We spent four hours because of the amount of soaring at the drop links and you know, they, you, you make those mistakes. If you haven't worked on, on a Honda Accord before, you're used to Civics and more sort of, well, older cars essentially, like Ed's got a CRX. Um, you know, you're learning stuff all the time. And I was learning everything and I messed it up. Ed, brilliant job. Me, terrible job. Now I'm sat in a car park outside Halfords in my Golf because I can't drive my Honda. And um, I'm gonna go and see if they've got the bolt. If they don't, I've got screw fix to go and have a look at. And there is like sort of a, a place, I, I don't know what it's called, like Bob's Bits or something, um, that sells bolts, is like a bolt warehouse somewhere. And I've got a couple of hours to get there. It's gonna be relatively close to where I am right now, so it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, nothing ever goes that smoothly, does it? So there will be another video um, this is part one, basically. The other will be a proper, this is how you install lowering springs and drop links onto a Honda Accord Type S, or essentially a Honda generally. Um, and it'll be a little bit better thought out, a little bit less sort of all over the place, because we've already got an idea of what we're doing. I'm not gonna break anything this time. And yeah, let's hope Halfords has the bolt. If it doesn't, I'll go somewhere else. I'll find it. I'm determined to find it. I've got a couple of days. I'm going to find it. Anyway, on that massive disappointment, that was <laughs> how essentially not to spend four hours trying to fit lowering springs. Although, in fact, I'm going to put some footage in now. So as you can see, yeah, it looks amazing. The front has already dropped a decent amount. It looks really, really good. So I'm happy with that. Let's just get the back down and let's have no more problems and let's finish fitting the drop links and finish replacing the bolt. This bolt. Look at that. Terrible. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Stock Nation TV. If you have, then please, please, please subscribe, turn on notifications and go and check out the Stock Nation TV Facebook page or Project Sock on Instagram. Do it. Enjoy it. You know, I mean... Sometimes it's a bit boring, other times it's a bit chaotic. Sometimes I get exactly what I'm looking for, but eh, who cares? And until the next time, I've been me, you've been you, and well done for that.